Many times we find ourselves asking, is God really there? Is he working in my life? The world around us can be noisy and chaotic, making it hard to see his presence. But I assure you, God is always at work in your life. Sometimes his work is obvious, like a mighty storm that leaves no doubt of its power. Other times, his work is like a gentle whisper, quiet yet profound, touching our hearts in ways we may not immediately recognize. Let me share with you some signs that God is working in your life. These signs can be as clear as day or as subtle as a soft breeze. Open your hearts and minds and you will see his hand in your life. Brothers and sisters, have you ever experienced a blessing that seemed to come out of nowhere, right when you needed it most? These unexpected blessings are God's way of demonstrating His unfailing love and care for each one of us. Think about it for a moment. It could be that job opportunity that appeared just as you were feeling uncertain about your career path. Or perhaps it was the financial provision that arrived precisely when bills were piling up and you weren't sure how you would make ends meet. Maybe it was a simple yet profound act of kindness from a stranger that lifted your spirits on a particularly challenging day. These blessings, whether they are big or small in our eyes, are significant reminders of God's intimate knowledge of our needs. He sees our struggles, he understands our worries, and he responds with compassion and generosity. The scripture assures us in Philippians 4, 19, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. God's provision often exceeds our expectations. When we are at our lowest, feeling overwhelmed by circumstances, he steps in with his perfect timing and his perfect solutions. This is his way of saying, I am here for you. I care about every detail of your life. Sometimes we may not immediately recognize these blessings as coming from God. We might attribute them to luck or coincidence. But as believers, we are called to see beyond the surface. We are called to see the hand of God orchestrating events in our favor these unexpected blessings are not just random occurrences. They are divine interventions, reminders of God's faithfulness and His promise to never leave us, nor forsake us. They are moments when God breaks through the ordinary to show us His extraordinary love. So I encourage you today to reflect on the unexpected blessings in your own life. Take a moment to thank God for His provision his protection, and his unending grace. Even in the midst of uncertainty, even in times of hardship, he is there, working behind the scenes for your good. My dear brothers and sisters, let's move to the second sign. Strength in times of weakness. There are times in each of our lives when we feel utterly and completely weak. The burdens we carry, the challenges we face, and the trials we endure can seem insurmountable in these moments. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and defeated. But I want to remind you today that it is precisely in these times of weakness that God's strength shines the brightest. When we are at our lowest, feeling the weight of the world on our shoulders, we often find a strength rising within us that we never knew we had. This is not a strength born of our own willpower or determination. It is a divine strength, a gift from God. It is His power manifesting in us, lifting us up when we need it the most. The Apostle Paul understood this well. In his letter to the Philippians, he wrote, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13, this, this verse is a powerful reminder that our true strength comes from Christ. It is His presence in our lives that empowers us to face any challenge, to overcome any obstacle. Think about the times when you felt you couldn't go on, yet somehow you found the courage to take another step. 
Reflect on the moments when you were certain you had reached your limit, yet discovered you could endure a bit more. That was not just you. That was God working through you. That was His strength carrying you forward. God's strength is often most evident when we come to the end of our own. When we acknowledge our weaknesses and surrender our struggles to Him, we make room for His power to be perfected in us. As Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, God said to him, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, Paul declares, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. This divine strength doesn't always come in the form of physical might or dramatic interventions. Sometimes, it's the quiet, steadfast resilience that keeps us moving forward day by day. It's the peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. It's the gentle assurance that we are not alone, that God is with us and that He will never abandon us. When you find yourself in a place of weakness, remember that it is an opportunity for God's power to be revealed in your life. Embrace your need for Him and allow His strength to fill you. Trust that He is working in you and through you, even when you can't see it. Dear friends, let's explore the third sign, doors closing and opening. Life often presents us with moments of change and transition. There are times when doors that once seemed open to us suddenly close, leaving us feeling bewildered and uncertain about the path ahead. These moments can be challenging, even painful, as we grapple with disappointment and confusion. Yet, as believers, we are reminded that God's hand is at work in every aspect of our lives, especially in the closing and opening of doors. It is natural to feel disheartened when opportunities we hoped for do not materialize, or when plans we carefully laid out seem to fall apart. However, we must remember that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When God closes a door in our lives, it is not a sign of abandonment or punishment. Rather, it is often a sign of His loving redirection. Think back on moments in your own life when a door closed unexpectedly. Perhaps it was a job opportunity that didn't pan out a relationship that ended, or a dream that seemed out of reach. In those moments, it may have felt like the end of the road, but in reality, it was the beginning of a new chapter orchestrated by God Himself. Scripture tells us in Proverbs 16.9, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. This means that while we may make plans, and set goals. It is ultimately God who directs our paths. He knows the best route for us, even when we cannot see it ourselves. When one door closes, it is because God has something better in store for us, a path that aligns more closely with His perfect plan for our lives. So, when doors close in our lives, we can trust that God is working behind the scenes he is preparing us, refining us, and leading us toward His best for us. These closed doors are not roadblocks. They are divine opportunities for growth, faith, and a deeper reliance on God's wisdom. Moreover, when God closes a door, He often opens another door that we may not have even considered. It could be a new opportunity that stretches us beyond our comfort zone a relationship that brings unexpected joy and fulfillment, or a calling that aligns perfectly with our gifts and passions. These open doors are God's way of showing us His faithfulness and provision. Dear brothers and sisters, as we walk on this journey of faith, one of the most profound signs of God's work in our lives is the transformation that takes place within us. Personal transformation is a powerful testimony to the presence and activity of God. It is the evidence of His Spirit moving in us, changing us, 
and shaping us and shaping us into the individuals he has called us to be. Have you ever paused to reflect on your life and noticed how much you have grown? How your thoughts, actions, and attitudes have evolved for the better? This change is not merely the result of our own efforts. It is the handiwork of God, the evidence of His molding and shaping us. As it says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. When we surrender our lives to Christ, His Spirit begins a transformative work within us. This transformation is often gradual, like a potter patiently shaping a lump of clay. It involves renewing our minds, transforming our hearts, and aligning our desires with His will. Romans 12, 2 instructs us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Consider your own journey of faith. Think about the person you were before you encountered God's grace. Perhaps you struggled with anger, fear, or insecurity. Maybe you were driven by selfish ambitions or entangled in harmful habits. But over time, as you have walked with the Lord, you have seen these areas of your life change. You have experienced the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control growing within you. This personal transformation is not just for our own benefit. It is a testament to the world of God's power and love when others see the change in us, they witness firsthand the work of God. Our lives become a living testimony of His grace and a beacon of hope for those who are still searching for meaning and purpose. Transformation can sometimes be challenging. It often involves letting go of old ways of thinking and behaving, which can be uncomfortable. It requires us to confront areas of our lives that need healing and growth. But through it all, God is with us, guiding us and giving us the strength to change. Philippians 1, 6 reassures us, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. One of the most beautiful aspects of personal transformation is the deepening of our relationship with God as we grow and change. We draw closer to Him. We begin to see the world through His eyes, to love with His heart, and to act with His compassion. This closeness to God brings a profound sense of peace and fulfillment, knowing that we are becoming more like Christ each day. Dear friends, I encourage you to embrace the transformation that God is working in your life. Trust in His process, even when it is difficult. Celebrate the growth you have experienced and look forward with hope to the continued work He will do in you. Remember that you are His masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for you to do. Now. Let's explore the sign overcoming obstacles. Life is full of obstacles. Each of us faces challenges that seem insurmountable at times. Whether it is a personal struggle, a professional setback, a health crisis, or a relational conflict, these obstacles can leave us feeling overwhelmed and defeated. Yet, it is in these very moments of difficulty that God's power and presence become most evident. Have you ever faced a situation that seemed impossible to overcome, yet somehow you emerged victorious? Think about those times in your life when the odds were stacked against you, but you found a way through. This is not a coincidence. It is a testament to God's work in your life. When we look back on the challenges we have conquered, we often see God's hand guiding us, providing us with the strength and wisdom we needed. In the book of Isaiah, 
we are reminded of God's ability to make a way where there seems to be no way. Isaiah 43, 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. God specializes in the impossible. He moves mountains, parts seas, and opens doors that no one can shut. When we face obstacles, it is natural to feel fear and doubt. We might wonder how we will ever overcome the challenges before us. But it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that we can experience God's power most profoundly. As Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 12.9, God said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, Paul concluded, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Our human strength and wisdom are limited, but God's power is infinite. When we rely on Him, we tap into a source of strength that enables us to do things we could never do on our own. This divine strength helps us to persevere through trials, to remain hopeful in the face of despair, and to find solutions when none seem apparent. Think about the obstacles you have faced and overcome. Was it a financial crisis that you thought you would never recover from? A relationship that seemed beyond repair? A diagnosis that felt like the end of the road? Yet, here you are, having moved past those hurdles. This is not by your strength alone, but by the grace and power of God working in your life. Gog not only helps us to overcome obstacles, but also uses these experiences to strengthen our faith and character. Romans 5, 3, 4 tells us, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Each challenge we face and overcome shapes us into the people God has called us to be. Dear friends, the next time you face an obstacle, Remember that you are not alone. God is with you, ready to move mountains on your behalf. Trust in His timing, lean on His strength, and believe in His power to make a way where there seems to be no way. Dear friends, one of the most significant signs of His work within us is the deepening of our faith. This growth in faith is not a sudden occurrence, but a gradual, transformative process that unfolds over time. It is through our experiences, the trials, tribulations, joys, and victories, that our faith is tested, strengthened, and refined. When we first come to faith, it is often with a sense of wonder and newfound hope. We embrace the love and grace of God, and we begin our walk with Him. But as we continue on this journey, we encounter challenges that test our faith. These trials can sometimes shake us, causing us to question and doubt. Yet, it is precisely through these difficulties that our faith is deepened. James 1, 2, 4 encourages us. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Each challenge we face and overcome strengthens our faith, making it more resilient and steadfast. When we endure hardships and see God's faithfulness in the midst of them, our trust in Him grows. We learn to rely not on our own understanding, but on His promises. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 reminds us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. As we experience God's guidance and provision, we become more confident in His plans for us. Our faith deepens not only through trials, but also through the joys and victories we experience. Each blessing, each answered prayer, each moment of grace reinforces our belief in God's goodness and love. We start to see His hand in every aspect of our lives, and our relationship with Him 
becomes more intimate and personal. Beloved, our faith journey involves stepping out of our comfort zones, trusting God in the face of uncertainty, and keeping our focus on Him. As we do so, we witness His miraculous power and love, which further deepens our faith. God uses our deepening faith to prepare us for greater things. He molds us into vessels that can carry His message and His love to others. As our faith grows, so does our ability to impact the world around us. We become more effective in our ministries, more compassionate in our relationships, and more courageous in our witness. A deepening faith also equips us to face future challenges with confidence and peace. We know that the same God who has brought us through past trials will be with us in whatever lies ahead. This assurance allows us to live with a sense of purpose and hope, knowing that our lives are in His hands. Let us, my friends, turn to the sign of inner peace in the midst of chaos. Have you ever experienced a moment when everything around you was in turmoil? Perhaps challenges at work, conflicts in relationships, health concerns, or financial difficulties. Yet, you felt an inexplicable peace within you. This inner peace is a precious gift from God, a testament to His promise to be with us always, even in the darkest of times. The scriptures remind us in Psalm 46, 10, Be still and know that I am God. This verse encourages us to pause, to quiet our hearts amidst the chaos, and to recognize the presence of God in our midst. It is in these moments of stillness that we can experience His peace. Jesus Himself spoke of this peace when He said in John 14, 27, Peace, I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. The peace that Jesus offers is not dependent on external circumstances. It is a deep, abiding peace that comes from knowing Him and resting in His promises. This inner peace is a powerful testimony to the reality of God's presence in our lives. It is His Spirit dwelling within us, comforting us, and reassuring us that we are not alone. Even when the storms rage around us, His peace anchors our souls and gives us strength to endure. Consider the story of Jesus calming the storm in Mark 4, 35, 41. As Jesus and His disciples were crossing the sea, a furious storm arose, threatening to capsize their boat. The disciples were filled with fear, but Jesus was asleep in the stern of the boat. They woke Him, saying, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus then rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Immediately, the storm subsided and there was calm. Jesus then asked His disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? This story illustrates not only Jesus' authority over the elements, but also His desire for us to have faith and trust in Him. Even in the midst of life's storms, when we experience inner peace amidst chaos, it is a reflection of our faith in God's ability to calm the storms of our lives and to guide us safely through them. Dear friends, if you are experiencing chaos and turmoil in your life right now, I encourage you to seek God's presence. Take time to be still before Him, to pray, and to meditate on His Word. Allow His peace to fill your heart and mind, knowing that He is in control and that He cares for you deeply. My brother and sister, let's talk about the final sign. One of the most intimate ways God communicates with us is through prayer and His Word. As we pray and seek His face, and as we delve into the Scriptures with an open heart, God speaks to us and guides us in profound ways. These moments of divine communication are not mere coincidence, but evidence of His active presence in our lives. Have you ever experienced a time when you prayed earnestly about a decision or a situation 
and you felt a sense of peace and clarity afterward. Or perhaps you were reading the Bible and a verse jumped off the page, speaking directly to your circumstances. These are moments of divine guidance where God illuminates His truth and His will for us. Psalm 32, 8 assures us, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. When we pray, we enter into conversation with our Heavenly Father, who knows us intimately and desires to lead us on the right path. Through prayer, we can pour out our hearts, seek His wisdom, and listen for His still, small voice guiding us. Similarly, the Bible is more than just a collection of ancient texts. It is God's living Word that speaks directly into our lives today. Hebrews 4, 12 tells us, For the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. As we study Scripture with humility and openness, God reveals His truth and his ways to us. Consider the example of the prophet Elijah in 1 Kings 19. After experiencing a great victory over the prophets of Baal, Elijah found himself fleeing from the threats of Queen Jezebel. Exhausted and discouraged, he sought refuge in a cave on Mount Horeb. There, God spoke to Elijah not through powerful winds, an earthquake, or fire, but through a gentle whisper it was in that quiet moment of intimate communication that Elijah received renewed strength and direction for his mission. In our own lives, God often speaks to us in the quiet moments of prayer and reflection. He confirms his guidance through his word, aligning our hearts and minds with his purposes. When we pray, we should not only speak, but also listen allowing God to impress His thoughts and His will upon us. If you are seeking guidance today, I encourage you to spend time in prayer and in the study of Scripture. Open your heart to God's voice and His leading. Trust that He will direct your steps and illuminate the path before you. James 1, 5 Promises If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Brothers and sisters, God's work in our lives is constant and unwavering. Sometimes it is dramatic and miraculous. Other times it is gentle and subtle, but it is always there, shaping us, drawing us and drawing us closer to Him. I encourage you to open your hearts and eyes to these signs. Reflect on your life and see where God's hand has been at work. Celebrate these moments, for they are reminders of His love and faithfulness. And when you face challenges and doubts, remember these signs. Hold on to the assurance that God is with you, working in you and through you every step of the way. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your constant presence in our lives. Help us to recognize the signs of your work and to trust in your guidance. Give us the strength to face our challenges, the peace to calm our fears, and the joy to celebrate your blessings. Transform us, Lord, and use us as instruments of your love and grace. We surrender our lives to you, knowing that you are always at work, shaping us into the people you want us to be. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.